I'm here in northern Minnesota, uh, north of uh, Park Rapids at Rick's Aviation Adventures, and we're here today to talk to Rick Marcil. You might see some of the resemblance. He's actually my brother, and he's hosting us for the weekend, but he has a very interesting business. It's kind of a unique business, an aviation business, and you can see the float plane. And Rick, can you tell me what what goes on at Rick's Aviation Adventures here in, uh, in Minnesota? Yeah, well, Steve, um... What I do is I, I have a, a small aviation instructional business and um, I'm, I'm retired from my normal job, but I've been teaching for aviation for over 43 years and um, I teach individuals uh, how to fly full planes. And I purchased the airplane from a retired airline captain out of uh, Bellingham, Washington, and I flew it home uh, about five years ago. And um, since then, you know, that's when Rick's Aviation Adventures was established and, and uh, we built the educational outpost. You know, if it wasn't for Rosa, I mean, I was, I was gonna put up a, just a stick built little hangar and she said, no, we're gonna do this right. You know, this is a yeah. beautiful setting and you know, it's a field of dreams and it's a dream of mine. And we just, uh, we just looked at our life and we said, hey, you know, what are you, what are you living for, you know? Sure. You, know, you can't take it with you sort of thing. So follow your heart. Yeah. And, and uh, listen to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid to bootstrap it once in a while. Yeah, great. When we talk about work ethic, you know, I, I think that anybody can develop work ethic. I mean, I, I'm inherently a lazy person until I find a, something I'm passionate about. And so, you know, when I think about all the entrepreneurs out there that are trying new adventures and new things, if you're passionate about it, you, you will find a level of work ethic that you never thought you had. Um, but if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't drive you from within, you get tired. And you know, once you recognize that you're getting tired, that's a, to me, that's a signal that you're not in the right spot. And so, you know, I don't think work, work ethic is, you know, inherently innate to the individual. I think work ethic is something that gets developed through your passion. And I was just so fortunate that aviation became a passion. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that, even though it was difficult academically for me, uh, I was so passionate about it that I, you know, you I did what you could. Yeah, I, I did what get, I had to. Yeah, to get through know, the yeah. academic part. It wasn't what I could. Could wasn't good enough. Yeah. You know, it was had to. Yeah. And so I knew I had to do it. And I remember one time I, I was struggling with uh, non-directional beacon approaches, they're called. And, um, and I was, uh, my instructor would yell at me a lot and... Um, We'd go up flying and I'd shoot these approaches and I'd screw them up and I'd shoot the approaches and I'd screw them up. And I went home one time, I was living in the basement of my older sister's home um, in Crookston, Minnesota. And uh, I told her I was gonna quit. And um, she knew that if I quit, that I would go back to my kind of renegade sort of ways and so she told me in, in just a few words uh, that I wasn't gonna quit, you know, and that I was gonna keep doing this. And uh, so I, you know, if I needed, if I wanted a place to live, I needed to keep flying and uh, that was basically it. And um, so I, I continued to try to figure out that NDB approach and uh, my instructor, Brian Hopper, um, who's still flying today and still a wonderful teacher, he, uh, he had the patience to keep working with me and um, we got through the NDB approaches and um, now there's now they're all decommissioned and I don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> so but it's a, you know, but it's, I outlasted the damn NDB approaches. But the lesson really is perse perseverance. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. You know, you get, you know, you've got this dream. Oh yeah. You're following it. There's going to be highs and lows yeah. and you got to just keep with it. You know? Oh yeah, and, yeah. And you'll get to the other side. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's lots of highs and lows and you know in anybody's entrepreneurial journey yeah. and you know you you know if you don't have the that core 
you know, willingness to to work hard and 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 put up with a few of those disappointments, um, you know, it's not for you. Yeah, great. You know? And it's a wonderful location you have here for people. It's a great experience when people come up. I know a few people who've experienced your education. Yeah. And it's a it's a good opportunity where you can come and enjoy yourself for a weekend and really learn something and, and enjoy really the, the Northwoods sky blue water kind yeah. of environment. Yeah. Uh, even do a little fishing if you yeah. want. So thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.